Why, hello! Welcome to my pet shop, dear customer. Have you been here before? I don't think I recognize you. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. I am so glad to meet you then. Now, you may have already noticed, but this pet shop is a little bit peculiar. Indeed, this is an extra-dimensional pet shop. We have animals from all sorts of alternative universes available for adoption. I myself am a traveler from another dimension, and I use my experience to select the best companions from across the multiverse. <laughs> oh, it is okay. Many people are skeptical. I'm sure that you're thinking, if you can go to alternate universes, why haven't I heard of this before? I'm afraid that people are rather quick to dismiss what they assume is impossible. But that doesn't bother me. I don't really want to attract too much attention, if you know what I mean. I just want to find good homes for all these wonderful creatures. Now, are you planning to go home with a pet today? Or were you just looking? It's completely fine either way. I don't mind satisfying your curiosity. There is so much to learn about all of them, and I do so love to share the knowledge. Certainly, certainly. We'll just see if something catches your eye then. Before we begin, though, I should explain a bit about what makes ownership of an extra-dimensional pet different from an ordinary one. Naturally, these pets come from different worlds than yours. Some worlds are only slightly divergent, but others are practically unimaginable to you. These animals are out of place here in this world. That means they require extra care in most cases. Some need special food, others need to stay in custom-built enclosures, terrariums, extra-dimensional ariums. Some require care that no animal on Earth would. Don't get me wrong, all pets are a big responsibility. These ones are even more so. But their unusual nature also makes them interesting and unique. Owning one of these creatures will change your whole life. If you have the time and dedication for one, then I couldn't recommend them enough. Don't worry, I'll be certain to thoroughly educate you on how to take care of your new pet, should you choose to adopt one. And everything you could possibly need to care for them can be found right here in this shop. I'm certain you would do a wonderful job caring for one of these special little creatures. Hmm? Well, I don't mind too much either way. If you'd like to keep their existence a secret, then feel free to. Not everyone wants to draw a lot of attention to themselves. And, anyway... I think the stereotype of the government coming to experiment on the alien creature is very exaggerated. Chances are, they wouldn't even take such a report seriously. Now, to start things off, I'd like to show you some animals that you'd be more familiar with. Many alternate universes are very similar to each other, so we have many animals that should appear quite recognizable to you, only slightly different than what you're used to. First, a classic. This is a grass dog. Named so because they are actually grazers. Feeding them is a breeze. You just let them out onto the lawn and they'll eat away. No need to worry about buying bags and bags of pet food or mowing your lawn. They do love the occasional treats in the form of fruits and vegetables. Most grass dogs look like this one, vaguely similar to a Dalmatian, but much more stout-bodied. They also, of course, have very blunt teeth, 
which some people can find quite unnerving on a dog. But they're incredibly gentle and loving animals. If a fair bit less intelligent than your average dog. The main thing to consider is that they're incredibly timid. They're easily stressed if you put them in unfamiliar settings, so it takes them a while to warm up to new people. Moving along, this is one of my absolute favorites. They're singing spiders. Please, please, there's nothing to be afraid of here. This is a species from my universe of origin. We love spiders and bugs and creepy crawlies there. And they love us as well. As you can see, these spiders are quite large. They're fuzzy and they have the most adorable big eyes. Not unlike a jumping spider. But they don't do much jumping. Instead, they weave small webs and actually use them to make music. Oh yes! They treat the web strings the same way you would a violin, plucking and running their pedipalps along them. It's a very soft sound, so you don't need to worry about it being distracting. Admittedly, it's not exactly music in the way we think of it, but it is pleasant all the same. It quickly becomes a soothing background noise that relaxes the mind. They are a bit picky, however. They require special food pellets, but you can buy those here from me. They also don't do well in noisy environments, so they may not be the best choice if you live in the city. Oh, I think this next one you'll absolutely fall in love with. Come, come. These are teacup bears. Don't they look like little teddy bears? <laughs> oh yes, they are very, very snuggly. As snuggly as they look, really. They'll happily climb onto your lap and stay there all day if you let them. Keep in mind, I do mean climb. These cute little guys will climb everywhere. And they can have a mischievous streak. So you'll need to give them lots of time and affection to keep them from getting into places they shouldn't be. And they eat all sorts of things. They're like little trash compactors. You could feasibly just feed them the leftovers from whatever you eat. But they especially love sweet treats. Be careful where you store them because they're known for being cookie thieves. <laughs> so, what do you think so far? Certainly not like anything you've seen before, hmm? Well, if you'd like, we can take a look at some more exotic ones. These ones will really shock you. This guy here is what we call a vexilli. They resemble a lizard somewhat, although I don't think the term is technically accurate. They are very low-maintenance pets. They just need a little bit of food and a little bit of water, maybe once a month. Oh, but they definitely need a heat lamp. They're not especially affectionate or social, but they do have a very interesting trait. Let me just spray a bit of this in here. Ooh, there, do you see? They have two tails, and each one has a brightly colored flag at the end. At least, the males do. They wave them around when they smell female pheromones, which is what I just sprayed in there. You shouldn't do it too often, or they'll get desensitized. But a couple times a week should be fine. That one? That's a Tusopo. They're not unlike a platypus, only covered in colorful and very slimy skin. It was sold to me by some odd fellow who came across it somehow. They can be good pets, I suppose. 
They're intelligent for what they are. And they happily waddle around the house. You just need to leave a pan of water out for them to rehydrate in. They are extremely poisonous in the wild, hence the bright colors. But you don't need to worry about that, because without their natural diet of poisonous worms, they're completely harmless. I carry a safe substitute that you can feed it. <laughs> it actually makes its farts smell like watermelon. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on, shall we? All of these so far have still been recognizable as animals, but some are extremely unusual. This one is even more so. I actually don't even know what it's called. I'm not even sure it has a name. It came from a world with no intelligent life. Looks like a metal object of some sort. A uh, dodecahedron, I think. But don't be mistaken, it is very alive. See? It can roll around, though it doesn't move very much. Then again, if you shine a black light on it... Strange, huh? The light reveals otherwise invisible copies that are very active. To be completely honest with you, I have no idea what they are or how they work. But the gears inside seem to always be turning. They unfortunately can never leave their enclosure. The atmosphere here will kill them, almost certainly. They're quite low maintenance. You only need to replace the canister here once a month. They absorb nutrients straight from the air as a gas. Or if you'd like to see something really strange, take a look at this. It certainly doesn't look like an animal, does it? Just a large crystal. But the animals are inside the crystal. Let me just... There, see? Look at those patterns of light. Those are the animals. I don't know the names of these either, but they're gorgeous, aren't they? I could stare at them all day. I have no idea how it's even possible that they exist, especially since they only need the crystal to survive here. No extra care or special enclosure necessary. They have quite the personality, though. The way they bounce around within the crystal. Hypnotic. And the way the colors of the light change too. Possibly based on mood or as a sign of their health. Admittedly, I was never able to figure that part out. They are quite sociable with each other, though. Always playing and dancing. If you tap on the crystal to let them know you're there, they'll happily play with you, too. They'll follow your finger and dance in time with your taps. They're also quite easy to care for. They eat light, believe it or not. Specifically, a particular shade of yellow light. This lamp here provides the perfect wavelength for them. But you have to be careful not to overfeed them. And don't shine bright lights of any other color on them for too long. It's best to keep them away from windows for that reason. Well, what do you think? I could always show you more, but have any of these caught your eye? Oh, that one? Yes, I absolutely agree. Then 
were you wanting to adopt today? Ah, oh, splendid. Let me ring you up for your new pets, plus all the supplies you'll need. And here's the price. Does that look okay? Oh, <laughs> I know it is quite the price tag. But these are exceptionally rare creatures. And you must understand, every purchase from my shop, the money goes towards taking care of all of their needs, no matter how unusual. I think you'll find that your new companion is worth the cost. You'll never find another one like it. I mean, maybe here in my shop, but nowhere in this reality. Was that all for you today? Lovely. I am so happy for you. You're going to be so happy with them. I've got this list of proper care instructions here. I'm just going to put that in your bag. You can call the number at the bottom anytime if you have any questions at all. And you're all set. I hope you and your new pet have a wonderful time together. Take care.